Hey YouTube, it's Story here, and today I'm coming to you with a guide to obtain the artifact fishing pole and also one to 800 fishing. Uh, now, there's a few reasons why you should want to get the underlight angler, which is the fishing rod. Um, it has a few really cool features. One of them is you can teleport to a nearest fishing node. It does have a five minute cooldown though. Uh, the other is you can fish up bloods, but more importantly, you can turn into a shark underwater and you swim extremely fast, I think about 150% swim speed, and also you can walk on water. So those are the most important, uh, but if you're farming, fishing and whatnot, it is pretty handy to have these uh, angling research because you can fish up an entire pool in one go. Uh, so this guide will take you through the achievement. Uh, required which is bigger fish to fry and 800 fishing and we'll show you where to get all the rare legion fish um, most of the lures I will buy in the AH I will leave a list in the description below but I hope this guide helps you get 800 fishing and also this awesome fishing pole um, but yeah enjoy the guide all right guys so for the first step what we're going to do is we're going to hurt to our wall of the drainer garrison and we're going to head over to the back of it we're just near any open water source. So if you're alive, obviously your garrison is going to be um, over here. You just want to head to the water at the back there and just fish up for a couple of casts. And you should get a book that will grant you the ability to fish up to like the skill of 700 and saves you running back and forth to the trainer. So I'm just going to cast a few times. It should only take a couple. And then, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Alrighty guys, so I got it after the first cast. I probably should have just kept recording. But yeah, now basically I'm just going to learn this and that will get me to 700 fishing or the skill up to 700 and then it just makes it much easier alrighty so now I'm going to show you where to go with the lures that we brought off the auction house and we'll go from there so the first zone we're going to do is Azuna now there's three lures that you need for this zone uh, I brought them off the AH to save time of fishing them up uh, you need the rusty queenfish brooch the pearlescent Ponch. I'm terrible at pronouncing that, and then also the aromatic murloc slime. Now, with the murloc slime, you can also get a scrog toenail, and um, it basically does the same thing. You get a two-minute buff, and then eventually a murloc comes and attacks you. You kill the murloc, and then you get the slime. But I've just brought the slime off the AH because it was just easier. And then, um, yeah, you, you fish for two minutes once you get it, and hopefully you get the murloc slime. So I'm going to fish for the murloc slime first. Um, with the, uh, I think it is the Rusty Queenfish brooch, it's a little bit trickier, as you can only fish from Ghostly Queenfish schools, which is why we're located in the middle here, because there is a school nearby. And I'll show you when we get to that, but first we're going to do the Aromatic Murloc Slime. So here we go. So at the end of my lure, uh, I was able to get four of them. So each one of these will give you five fishing skills, so that's 20 fishing skill. Now once you get the artifact weapon, instead of giving fishing skills, these give you artifact power towards your artifact fishing pole, so you can invest points in that. So if you do fish up any more um, lures, hold on to them. I'll send them to an alt because they are unique. And then, yeah, you can use them later to fish up and level up your artifact weapon. So um, make sure you fish up as many as you can in that two minute period because it will just increase your fishing skill. Um, my fishing skill started off about 20 in this guide. Um, but yeah, I, one thing I didn't expect, I actually got two toys. Um, so I'm fishing with Norbs here. We're doing the guide together and he didn't get any, but I got two toys. So um, not, not sure about those, but that's pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, it seems to be different. Um, fishing bobblers or something so I'm going to play around with those in a bit but uh, now I'll show you how to do the pearlescent conch okay so for part two we're going to be using the pearlescent conch now um, my pronunciation is probably terrible but uh, yeah basically we're going to use that now these toys are actually different lures so the one I'm using right now makes my bobble really big but I'm going to um, switch that to use the tugboat now and I've actually just got the achievement there for I think it's 200 toys as well so that's kind of cool um, Yes, yeah, so I'm going to use the tugboat and it should make my little lure look like a tugboat. So let's have a quick look at that. So I remember them adding them, but I've just never seen them drop. So they seem to be okay for me. I'll see if um, a Norbs gets any as well. So basically the same thing here. We're just going to use the uh, Pearlescent Conch now. And then we're just going to be fishing for two minutes and see what we get. As you can see, I was able to fish up three of them this time. So I'm just going to toss those back in and get my... Uh, fishing skill up, so each one is five fishing skill. I think Norb's actually got a few more than me. He also fished up another um, Pellis and Haunch there too, so he can sell that on the auction house. As you can see, um, on my realm it goes for about 7k, 8k gold each because they are used to level up your artifact power when you do get the fishing rod as well. But yeah, next we're going to cover the um, Rusty Queenfish brooch, so we'll have a look at that in two seconds. 
Okay, so for the next one, we are going to use the Rusty Queenfish brooch. Um, now you want to head to where I am on the map because it spawns, this, this lure lasts for five minutes and allows you to see certain pools of fish. So if we just use that now, there should be one right in front of me. And you just fish out of this for five minutes. And every time you get a fish, it will be five fishing skill or artifact power if you've got the fishing weapon already. So yeah, just stay tuned and I'll fish this up. And as you can see, I was able to get 21 ghostly queenfish that time, which will give me 105 fishing skill, which is pretty awesome. So that is the entire achievement based in this zone. So the next step we're going to take is uh, we're going to go to Val Shara, and we're going to try our luck fishing up things there. Now, on my realm, I couldn't get any rotten fish bones, so I'm going to have to fish that up there. So I do have an arcane rune as well to help me fish that up. But I do have the other two, so we'll see how we go in Val Shara. We'll be back soon. Alright guys, so now we're in Velshara. Now you can fish anywhere in the Velshara zone. I like this little spot here. It's a nice little waterfall in front of me, keeps it kind of scenic. Um, so I don't have all the lures for this because there's currently none on my auction house. So I'm going to be using an arcane lure which basically gives you 100% more chance to fish up certain baits in the zone. So I've got uh, the Drowned Thistle Leaf and the Nightmare Nightcrawler, but I'm missing the Rotten Fish Bone. So hopefully I'll be able to fish up the fish bone while I'm trying to get these other two but we're going to start off with the drowned thistle leaf so i'm just going to use my lure first and then i'm going to use this now apparently we kind of just bury that guy and then eventually we get a buff now so we're going to buff for five minutes i'm just going to fish the five minutes and let you know how i go enjoy so i'm back after fishing up i was able to get nine thorned flounders and i was also lucky enough to fish up the rotten fish bone which is the lure that i needed so um I've now got both the two lures that i needed and i also got another two toys so i got the uh, wooden peppy and the cat head so i'm gonna um learn them now and then i might give one of those a try next maybe the cat head sounds a bit weird but we'll see how we go so these are pretty cool uh, i might just have a quick check see how many there are so um crate of oh, i can only see four so far maybe that's it i'm not sure but um we'll start using the cat head from now on let's see what this looks like well, that's that's really disturbing all right let's change that that's going to creep me out all right we'll go the wooden peppy i think there you go, that's pretty cute. Can't really see it though. Alrighty, we'll go with that. So now we're going to use the uh, rotten fish bone and we're going to go fishing and hopefully get what we need. So this, I think, will attract a night elf or something to us, which will then cast a buff on us. So it doesn't happen straight away. From memory, I've got the rotten fish bone right here. And we just wait and see what happens. So he's also dropped his. So it's, here we go, here's the night elf. And then I'm pretty sure they give me a buff. And then I can fish it up. Yeah, there we go, two minute buff, so not much time, so let's go fishing. I've gone back to the giant bobler because um, the other one's a bit small, a bit harder to see. But yeah, I'll be back at the results. Alrighty guys, so I was able to get eight ancient moss gills there. So uh, as you can see, they all give five fishing. I've built up quite a few of them, so we're just going to throw them in the water now. And it should give me a lot of fishing skill, as you can see. So it's really easy to level up fishing. As you can see, I've just got two fishing achievements in a row, and I'm up to, oh, make that three, up to nearly 340 fishing. So, Alright guys, so for the last one, we need to use the Nightmare Nightcrawler. Uh, I just did a little bit of research on the bobbler crates or bobblers that I keep getting. So there's five to collect. Um, you can buy them using Drowned Manor from the uh, vendor on the uh, Margos Island, the little fishing island there. But uh, yeah, so far I've been lucky enough to get four while leveling up my fishing, but... Uh, Norbs has got none, so it seems to be really RNG, but yeah, hopefully I'll get the last one uh, Which is a rubber ducky, I believe so we're just gonna put the nightmare night crawls on now fish and see how we go And I'll be back in a few minutes. All right guys as you can see I managed to fish up six terrafin So we're just gonna throw them in the water and level up my fishing a bit more So is Norbs, so now we're up to 371 fishing next we're gonna head across to high mountain and I will show you where to fish when we get there Enjoy now we're going to head across to High Mountain. Uh, I've chosen just to fish here, just needed a flight path. Um, so you need three baits. The three baits you need are the Swollen Murloc Egg, the Frost Worm, which we don't currently have. So when I'm fishing here, I'm going to make sure I have an Arcane Lure on, so I'll move that across there. Um, you also need to have a either a Swollen, or a Salmon Lure, sorry, or a Funky Sea Snail. Now, if you have the Funky Sea Snail, it will um, spawn a Drog Bar, which will you then kill, and then he gives you the salmon lure. Or you can just buy the salmon lure off the AH, which is just easier. So hopefully we get a frost worm when we're fishing up one of these. We're going to start with the uh, swollen murloc egg right now, and yeah, we'll see how we go. Alright guys, as you can see, i got five mountain puffers, so we're just going to throw them in now. I didn't get any frost worms yet, 
so I still need to make sure I've got my arcane lure up. And now we're going to use the salmon lure now and hopefully get a frost worm while we're fishing. So let's see how we go. So you can see the salmon lure gave me eight ancient high mountain salmon, so we're just going to throw them back in now, get some more fishing skill, and as you can see, we're already up to 445 fishing. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a frost worm, so I need it for the next part, next part of the achievement in this zone. So I'm going to apply an arcane lure, which you can buy off the auction house for about 60 to 100 gold, or you can um, go across to the fishing island near Deloran and fish up some drowned mana, and I think they cost one each, so it's, they're really quite easy to get. But I'm going to attach that and then try to fish up the frost worm. It could take me a while, so I'm just going to fish in this zone and we'll see how we go. And yeah, we'll be back shortly. It took me like 25 minutes and I was lucky enough to finally get a frost worm. So we're just going to stick that lure on and then start fishing here. And yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes once it's done. As you can see, I only got three cold driver carps, so I'm just going to throw those in. But you do only need one of each for the achievement, a bigger fish to fry. So we've got two more zones to go, plus the open world fish. So next we're going to be heading to Stormheim, um, where you will need these three baits. And I'll go into detail when I get there. So we're in Stormheim. The first one we're going to do is Ancient Vehicle Ring. Now this is really good if you're trying to get artifact power once you've got the artifact fishing rod because it's similar to the one where I got 20 fish before you should get quite a few there should be a pool right in front of me from memory I might be a little off but um yes yeah, so we're just going to use that right now and then we should be able to see some invisible pools uh, just down here it is so just down here you run to this end here and you're just going to fish here for five minutes and catch as many as you can and yeah, I'll be back with the results. So I was really lucky and I was able to fish up a ancient vehicle ring again, which I just used, and then a moose horn hook as well. Now these rings are awesome for when you got your artifact powers once you finish getting your achievement and you got the pole, come back here and fish these up. Because as you can see, I was able to get 20 of the fish. So about the same as the, uh, I think it was ghostly queen fish. So I'm just going to throw this in. This will give me 100 fishing and get me up nearly to 600. Uh, one thing you do need to make sure you don't go over 700 because that's how high we go right now. So you need to make sure you go to a trader soon. Um, just don't throw the fish in if you're starting to get close. But we've still got another 100 days to go. So next thing we're going to um, apply the soggy dragon scale. So you can fish anywhere in the zone for this one. So we're just going to stay around here. So I'm just going to apply that now and then we'll start fishing. Alright, here we go. Alright guys, as you can see I was able to fish, fish up four grey belly lobsters using the soggy dragon scale, so just go throw those in now. And that gets me to just around the 600 mark, or just over. Um, so now I'm going to, there's, this is a two part one, so if you have the moose horn hook, and not the silver scale minnow, you want to attach the hook, and then you have two minutes to fish up a different kind of bait, so the skill, silver scale minnow. So I've actually got the silver scale minnow, so I can just use that, and that's going to get me the thundering storm ray. But if you don't have this, you need to use the moose hook horn, then catch a silver scale minnow, and then catch the fish. So I'm going to skip that step by using this, and then hopefully I'll fish up a uh, storm ray very shortly. Alright, here we go. I was able to get four thundering storm rays, just going to throw them in now, that gets me up to 621 fishing. Um, then now what we're going to do is we're going to go Surama. Now again, I'm missing a sleepy murloc bait. So I'm going to be hoping that I can fish one up, but I've got the two other baits, and we'll go from there, and then we'll finish up by getting the... Uh, open world ocean ones done so there's one that you can only fish up when you're out fishing which is an angry shark but I'll show you how to get that soon guys here we go just headed over to Surama so just look at it around here and we're just going to be fishing the three things so the first one we're going to use is the enchanted lure now we do need a lure still to fish up I think it is called a sleepy murloc so hopefully we'll get that um, when you do get it, don't use it straight away because it runs around like a crazy thing and drops fish everywhere that you can pick up. So you don't want to use it when you're near water. Uh, I'll show you when I get it, guys, but just going to start with the enchanted lure now. Um, yeah, Steve. So I was lucky enough to only get two, so it was pretty unlucky. I'm just going to throw those in, level up my fishing a bit more. So you just want to make sure you go trade. I think it's at 675 you can trade, so we're at 633 now. Uh, and next we're going to use the demonic Deutress. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. And that's hopefully going to fish us up a tainted rune scale koi. So we're just going to put that on now and see how we go. And as you can see, um, Norbs here just got a laystone koi. So when you're fishing in Surama, you have a chance to get laystone koi. And I think there's another one, uh, a blue one, that gives you a bit more ancient mana than that. But yeah, it's just basically ancient mana. So we're just going to activate this rune now and fish away. You can see, I only got two tainted rune scale koi. So just going to throw them now, level up my fishing a bit more. I think that gets me to about 646. 
And now I'm going to put Arcane Lure on and try to fish up a Sleeping Murloc as I didn't get one yet. I finally got my Sleeping Murloc. Now, if you have the option to buy this off your auction house, definitely do so. It took me probably about 30 to 60 minutes to farm this. As you can see, I got a lot of the Ancient Mana fish. I also got... Uh, I actually learnt it already, a weather beaten journal. So this allows you to track the fish on your minimap, as you can see in my top right corner here. It shows me where the school of fish are. Very handy for once you have maxed out fishing. So I just got that from fishing a school of fish while I was fishing up the sleeping murloc. So now we're going to use this sleeping murloc and I'll just show you guys what it does. So we drop the murloc down now, and there he is. He's going to run along and he's going to throw fish everywhere. See these little fish on the ground? You just have to run over them, and then you pick up puffers as you go. So he drops quite a few. But as you can see, I'm picking them all up, so you just want to keep running over all the fish. That's why you want to do it somewhere where you've got good visibility, because you want to be able to pick up as many as you can, because every one is going to be a fishing skill. I think that's looking pretty good. Alrighty, so as you can see, I've got five sea spine puffers, so I'm just going to throw those in the water. I'm just going to check my fishing skill first so I don't go too high. Alrighty, so we're currently at 647, so we're going to throw them all in, we should be fine. And we'll go there. So we have 699. So I'm going to go down around, learn more fishing skill, and then I'll show you how to get the last three fish for the achievement. And we are nearly done with the artifact fishing rod. So for this next part, we need to be in the ocean fish they call it, so like out in the ocean side. So if you're not sure if you're where your fishing's in the ocean, uh, it's basically on the outskirts of the broken shore or broken isles. I'm not sure what it's called, broken isles. And then if you can see a black barracuda school, you're fishing in the right spot. So they are only in the uh, outer so there's a few uh, fish to get here. We need to get the sea bottom squid, the ancient black barracuda, and the axe fish. So to get the axe fish, you can get the two items again. So the first one you get is a message in the bottle, and then if you open up, you get the axe fish lure. So I've just brought the lure of the AH because it was cheaper than the bottle. And yeah, so I'm just going to fish that up now, and I'll come back when I've got that and go through the other ones with you. I'm still fishing up the axe fish here, and I've just fished up the uh, now. This is to get the uh, other thing we need. You can't buy this one in the auction house because as you can see, it's got a duration of a minute once you fish it up. Um, it did do a lot of damage back in the day. I haven't actually fished it for a while, so I'm not too sure how much the damage is going to be or how high the damage is going to be. But yeah, so you just drop this one down. I'll show you how that works. So I did get my one axe fish, which is all I need for the achievement. So I don't really need a fish anymore, so I'll just wait for this one. All right, now we're just going to drop the shark here. And there it is. I'm not sure how much time it is now. Yeah, we just kill it and then we loot it. Alright, so it doesn't take a Sorry about the sound, guys, it was pretty, pretty loud. But yeah, so we kill that and loot it. And as you can see, we've got eight sea bottom squid. So that's a pretty decent haul. So then we just want to come back here and throw them into the water. And then sort of act fishy. And now we just need the last one each drag so just throw that there, but as you can see, I'm doing 700 fishing, 745 now. So to get this last one, we're just going to attract the ravenous fly to our fishing pole, and then start casting. Now, with this one as well, I believe there's two ways to get that. So you can fish up until you get a decayed whale blubber, and then you can throw the blubber on the ground, and then after a while, some flies will appear around it. Then you click the flies, and you'll get this bait. Now, you can... Um, just buy the bait, the ravenous flies off the auction house, which is right. so it's cheaper, and it was just a better way for me to do it. But yeah, I will keep fishing this for five minutes, which is how long I've got less, and hopefully we'll get to 800, and then we're just nearly done. So I'm just going to move across here because I seem to be getting the wrong fish there. So we'll see how we go. But yeah, won't be too long. Just finished up, finished fishing up the ancient barracuda. I did get the achievement. But unfortunately, I didn't get uh, fishing to 800. I'm 783. So what I'm going to do is, because you need to be 800 apparently, you need to... I've got an item here that I can use in Serum that I fished up. I'm just going to fish that real quick, hopefully get four, because that will get me to 800. And then we can go to the part of fishing up the Pell. Alright, so here we go. Uh, with the Black Barracuda also, I found it better just to fish the Black Barracuda pools or schools, because I noticed that I wasn't getting too many of them in the wild, and that seemed to work better for me. But, you know, we'll see how we go. But yeah, I'll be back on some 800 fishing, guys. Shouldn't be too long. Okay, guys, so that was pretty easy. I'll be able to throw those four fish in that I just got and get 800 fishing. Um, so once you have 800 fishing and the achievement, all we need to do now is log in and out because apparently that affects the RNG or something, or I don't know, let the achievement register. And then we're just going to fish up pools of fish or schools of fish. So, and then 
each school will have a chance to give us a pelt. So I'm going to fish that up. I'll let you know roughly how long it takes me, hopefully not too long. And yeah, we'll go to the next step from there. Okay guys, so it took me about six to ten minutes and I finally fished up the Luminescent Pearl. So this starts a quest, um, so we just need to bring it to Khadgar and Dalaran. Uh, it's pretty basic quest chain, but for anyone who doesn't know, I'll quickly show you how to do it. This will then lead us onto this scenario where we help um, Nat Hagel. Uh, basically, we kill some ads and then that's pretty much it. So we're pretty much finished here, but I'll just quickly show you how to do this little quest chain. So just follow me as we go to Khadgar, and then we're going to go to, I think her name's Marika Chase. She's just at the pond there, or Marcia Chase. She is the fishing trainer as well. If you need to train your fishing, I'm not too sure where to go. Um, alrighty, so we should just go across there. Uh, also, whenever you want to level up your artifact fishing rod, you can't use normal artifact um, items it's got to be artifact power items it's got to be there's certain fish that come from these lures so just remember that and the pearl will appear here when we right click it so for some reason whenever i come back here she just keeps going crazy <laughs> and talking about some random stuff but eventually she'll go back and i can hand in the quest but yeah i don't know oh slash bonker on the noggin all right so eventually the pearl once you finish the pearl will be here and whenever you want to level it up you come back here and right click on the pearl but i'll show you guys that shortly as well Alrighty, so there it is. Uh, this is where you, like in your class hall, you have like the place you go to for your artifact weapon. This is it for the fishing one. Um, and then eventually I think Nat Pagel comes here or something along those lines. Okay, so usually Nat Pagel should show up. Sometimes he is a bit lazy, so you need to relog. So I'll just quickly relog and we'll come back here. I've just relogged and Nat Pagel has decided to show up. Uh, so if he doesn't show up, just relog, and then he's all stressed out. So we're going to go help him in the scenario. Uh, I'll speed this up. It's pretty straightforward, the scenario. Uh, basically, kill this, kill this, kill this, then you get the fishing pole. Like, this is the easiest part of it all. So I'll just speed it up, and yeah, follow my footsteps, guys. You don't need to have a fishing rod equipped, by the way, I forgot to mention that earlier. You can do the whole thing without a fishing rod. I just, I don't even know why I'm using one, actually, it actually like, makes no difference. Unless you have one that gives fishing uh, ability, it makes no difference having no fishing rod. But it looks cooler, I guess, than a stick. Yeah, we're just going to fish up all these pools, and then we'll get up to the next step. with our 15 fish. Uh, I did also notice you can actually uh, fish up more lures here as well, so that's kind of cool, because we will need a lot of them to level up our artifact power for the next part, but the best ones to use are the ring and the, I can't remember what it was, the ghosty um, fish one, but I just prefer using the ring. It's a really easy spot. I'll show you guys after this though, so right now we're going to fish up this big disturbance, it's called, and um, yeah, pretty much it. So all in all, pretty easy. Um, yeah, I think this is a bit weird. So basically, the fishing rod's going to be made out of the top of its head, um, which makes no sense because they made him so giant. You'd expect the fishing rod to be, you know, massive, because it actually looks just like the skull of his head. Um, but yeah, so this is what our fishing rod will be made out of, and then you know we get to level it up slowly but it is definitely worth it um the reason i'm making this fishing guide is because i'm planning to do a lot of um cooking and fishing gold farms so oh you know people may not have the weapon yet or may not have it on their alt and might not know where to go so they can come back here and you know do all that but here we are just about finished just gotta wait for 
Again, she keeps asking me about all the news, and she should go back into place soon. Alrighty, and there is our new fishing pole. So we just pop it on. As you can see, the head is much smaller now. And then now this pearl becomes where we go to level up our artifact. So as you can see, the first one I need to go get. So I'm going to go fish up some ancient vehicle rings now. Just, so I just went and used another um, of my vehicle rings. I was lucky enough to get yet another one, which is awesome. So as you can see, the difference is now they're going to grant 50 artifact power, and they no longer stack as well. So an easy way to use them is just to button to a keybind, and you're going to throw them all back in. Um, I'm not going to use the other ring right now, because like your normal artifact weapon, when you are leveling this up, that you can't see right now, it actually gives you a bonus. So every level you put into the artifact weapon increases the duration of the lure. So if this should be enough to get me maybe two, maybe three points into it. So it should increase my duration by lure longer. But when I come back, I'm able to fish up more. Also, when I did this ancient vehicle ring, I couldn't find an what, an Udalus Fidlisk pool. I don't know how to pronounce that fish name, man. It's the weirdest thing. So I had to fly around a little bit and it cost me a little bit of time. So I'm just going to go back to Delaran. I'm going to show you how to level it up and go from there. Okay, so we come back here, and now I'm just going to throw these fish into the pool, and they're going to give me artifact power towards my weapon, or my fishing rod. So I'm just going to throw them all in, just making the key by makes it a little quicker. I'll just have to right click them throughout your whole bag. Alrighty, nearly done. Alright, then just like your normal artifact weapon, you're going to come here, you're going to select the first one. And as you can see here, increased duration of legion lures and baits by 8% for every trait purchased. So, obviously this is the first one you need to get. Um, but yeah, it's going to increase the duration quite a lot, like once you've got 10 traits, it's nearly, it's 80%, you know, you're working nearly double. Um, there's certain fish I would recommend targeting first, like, you're not going to really want to get the, uh, Moskul Perch, um, to work towards this one. So this one here is pretty handy, reduces, oh no, that one's not too good. Where is it? So this one here, you want to get the surface tension, the walking on water, and also when you go underwater, you turn into a shark, which is really cool. Um, you can now fish up bloods as well when you get the second point. Um, and then obviously black barracuda is pretty important because it's a pretty popular fish. But that one there you don't really want to get. It's like the last points you'll spend. That one there and probably the storm ray angling. So we're going to go uh, into the cursed queenfish first. I've only got enough for that many points. But that's still going to be 24% longer on my next artifact. So my next um, ring that I use is going to be 24% longer than my last one. So I should be able to get a lot more artifact power and then just repeat the process. But yeah, that's pretty much a rough guide of what you're going to do, guys. As you can see, the reason to get this weapon, you know, for starters, you can swim and breathe underwater really fast, which is super handy for some gold farms. So my BFT gold farm, I had just my artifact uh, fishing rod equipped the whole time. Uh, the other one is walking on water. It is a tiny bit buggy, I found, last time when I was trying to fish. It could just be a bit of camera issue. Hopefully they fixed it now. Um, and then, yeah, you can use stealth while you're fishing, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's definitely handy when you're fishing next to mobs that are aggro to. Uh, and then you can fish up boots. I've never fished up anything good with the boots, but you never know. Uh, each point you're putting into these gives you a chance to fish up the entire school or pool. Uh, so when you cast once, you could get, like, the entire amount of, like, whatever, blood cigars and, like, six fish in one go, which is you're obviously going to speed up the time as well. But, yeah, the most important thing, I think, is water walking under speed. Uh, but yeah, they did just bring out a recent new appearance of mount, which I'm going to be farming. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the guide. If you did, you know, please make sure you like, comment, and you know, just share the video with your friends if you found it helpful. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a comment down below if there are any other guides you'd like to see in the near future. And thank you, Norbs, for coming along. And stay tuned to see how you can win my current giveaway. I do giveaways every month, so if you're watching this a little bit later down the track, check my channel out for my current giveaway. Enjoy. Hey guys, monthly WoW token giveaway time. For your chance to win for the month of September, head across to my Azura Welpling Gold Farm Guide, like and subscribe, and make sure you leave a comment. A random comment will be selected on the 1st of October. Good luck everyone that enters. Thanks for subscribing.